Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, something would happen there. My uh, Yeti just didn't want to connect. I think I might have because of, I'm, I've sensed him because it there's an update that happened just just now when I logged in my machine and it seemed to have just decided to disconnect a lot of devices. So that was smart, isn't it? Logitech needs to sort that out. Might have to, might have to like ping about that. It's really annoying that. Hope everyone's uh, everyone's having a lovely uh, lovely shirt Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. <laughs> Lost losing count of days here. Yeah, today's Wednesday. And we're going to be finishing off this bat. That's the plan anyway, unless something goes wrong, incredibly wrong. But I think we're pretty, pretty much there. We've just, got, just got to work on the details. And then that's done. And then we can jump back onto the wolf. The wolf character that I was working on uh, uh, some weeks ago. Well, I think, I think it was last week. The week before that, I think. I, I, needed, I just needed some time away from it just so I can get... So, um, you know, just like a little breather on it. So, yeah. Oh. Let me see here. Uh, how much is there left to do? Just bringing up, loading up the reference window here, the reference for the spat. So, yeah, I think after this, if I can get this done. Uh, oh. Load the wrong one there. If I, if, I can look, if I can get this done, and then we can jump onto uh, the wolf. Uh, I want to work on the second version. There's a second version. I, I want to revisit that again and see how, I'm fe how I feel about it. Let me move this aside. Uh, yeah. Oh, treasure. All right, treasure. Boop. Boop. Let me print, let me bring up the uh, dashboard. That's probably better. There we go. Dashboard's always nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's the plan for this evening. Uh, finish off this batch. Uh, there, I've noticed I need to put some more darks in some places, which I've, uh, you know, always tend to forget to do. So I'm just, just going to add some bit more contrast in the areas. You know, high contrast is always good, especially in area of focus. So maybe under the chin, the mouth, nose and stuff like that. Just gets a bit more interesting, right? Um, obviously it looks a bit darker on there, so I've kind of lost that touch there, see there? Yeah, so if I, if I do this, that's there, yeah, but if I bring this up here, see it's gone up slightly, so I might need to push some contrast back into that little area there. I could just paint that in, or I can just use some um, layer styling, but uh, we'll see. Oh, my back. See, I mean, I was sitting, working away, and I tilted my hips whilst I was trying to reach over to do something else on this on this main machine from my laptop, which is right here. I think I pulled a muscle right here. It's not good. Not good. And try and fix that. Yeah. Let's move my stuff together here. Oh, it's got Mr. Spud on as well. Oh, I've loaded him up twice. Did I load him up twice? Oh no. Here you go. So I need to make a paintbrush version of Spud. I think I need to. I think I need to bring a Spud version of that, of uh, our Spud friend with a, with a paintbrush. He might look cool with that. Right now he doesn't have anything. Yeah, I'm after to fix that. Uh, let me just sort, sort something out here one second. Uh, change your recorder. Recorder. There we go. I'm gonna start the recording immediately. There we go. Three, two, one. I'm just gonna leave this running. That's the plan now. I'm not gonna like do things foolish with it. Because every time I leave it, you know pause it or something I'll forget and then that's it I'll lose the, the feed everything all the goodness of it so uh, I'm just gonna rearrange my windows window tabs there because I'll make sure I've got everything sorted out here so there we go oh go there I'm just bring my switch profile there there we go 
yeah so as you may or may not know i'm, I'm not streaming on uh, youtube anymore but I, what i will be doing is I, i've done it already yesterday's stream once it's finished i will uh, ex export it t across to uh, youtube and it will treat it as a video which works out fine i think that's a better choice in you know in some sense i think i was trying to i'm trying i'm trying to stream to more, more channels as possible to try and reach more audiences but uh, I think I guess that could be a problem of trying to spread myself too thin and just focus on one platform and well, in this case two platforms because I'm, I'm on the uh, Picato as well which is an art, art based streaming platform so that work, it makes sense for that and then you have uh, obviously Twitch which is a uh, you know, big big well, I know, I know YouTube, uh, YouTube is very big as well but uh, it's not as uh, I think Twitch has a more proactive community in terms of fight, you know, being discovered and being spotted by people in you know, yeah probably better for that and, and what I'm gonna do with YouTube is just upload videos on there I need to like sort out the uh, SEO stuff you know in terms of finding my videos I need to make them make the, uh, the titles a bit more catchy and you know so I can, I can be spotted a bit more I'm just gonna move the window here just so I can have my Picasso stuff on my, my laptop so that way I, I can see the laptop I can see the chat on there I can see the chat on uh, of Twitch on my main machine because Restream doesn't have integration between those two platforms which is still annoying it's really annoying that but uh, something I can do not much I can do right so I was going to work on the mouth and if I'm correct the eyes but I did do the eyes yesterday so Excuse me, there's some bits of hair that I want to fix, but um, I'll do that now. Oh, no. It's better. Now I see treasures in the, in the house. There's a little bit of a uh, artifact there. I'm gonna try and get rid of that. Uh, I think that's based on that. Yeah, it's based on that. So I'll probably just clean that out. There you go. Clean that out. Yeah. I thought I'd bring in the spud. I'm tempted. Should I bring in the spud? I think I should. The spud are you there? Hey there. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Ooh. Well, here we are once again. Hmm. Looks like we've got one up that back to do. So let's get on with it. Yeah. Let's do it. Hmm. Misty back. Welcome to, welcome to mouse, mouth here, mouth. Yeah, I think this is pretty decent as it is. I do want to focus on these darks, so let's focus, focus on. I was going to work on that actually. Oh, there we go, yeah. So this hair is a bit done, but then like these areas here, I can uh, make a new layer for it as well. So really. Go dark on these areas here, so you really push the darkness down there. There we go, yes. I forgot to post on. I'm streaming on uh, my uh, announcement thing. There we go. I'll post it as well. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Very handy. Hmm. I 
adding some contrast here. Nice little contrast on the uh, little areas here. Well, yes. Look at that. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Mm. Look at it. Nice some of that. Nice contrast. Makes it pop a bit. Hmm. Yeah. Not afraid of using a bit of the older dark tones here, dark values. Make it all stand out a bit more, see? There we go. If I'm satisfied with it, I'll uh, flatten it down. To, you know, so I'm not afraid to, uh, you know, push it down if I need to. So, okay. yes. There we go. Now, also, you want to add some, uh, some, some, some extra, extra values here as well, especially here. You know, it's uh, and yeah, probably just pinch it from here. Actually, just pinch it from here. Yeah, look, push that there. Yeah. Pushing that strong values in there. See, hmm, makes it interesting. See, makes it interesting. Hmm. Yes. Look at that nose as well. Maybe just a little. Maybe here as well, too, here as well, yeah. Yeah. There's a little bit more interest, you see, a little more interest. Hmm. Take a look, take a look at the reference as well. Let's do, do it, take a look at that. Uh, no sh oh yes, there we go. Yeah, there is a bit of sh stronger shadow here, so we can we can really add a bit more emphasis on this. There we go. Yes. Yeah, there's oh, hmm. a bit of a Contrast, contrast push. Hmm. See, adds a makes it pop a bit, makes it pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ash. Checking, uh, looking at the back, back reference here. Always check reference. Make sure that what you're doing is close to what it is, you know, close to what the reference may look like or matches, you know. Trying to get close. It's having fun with the contrast too. Yes, I like the contrast. Oh, the music stopped, I think. Has the music stopped? Hang on, wait a minute. Better not have stopped. Listening to it. Oh, lost the... Huh. Oh, hang on, wait a second. Oh, there it is. Ah. I reached the end of the playlist. That's, uh, that's a bit of a boop. Let's fix that. Let's fix this. 
Okay, there we go. Shuffle play. And loop play this, there we go. Loop it as well. Yeah, very chill, very chill music. Okay, back to our bat. Lovely belly bat. Let's see. So yes, I was about applying these uh, extra bits of um, contrast here, just to make things pop, you know, adding the edge and the cracks and stuff, just to make it stands out a bit more, you know, so we gotta try to make it so it's nice and pretty. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. This is good. So here again, you know, just a little, little, little push on a Eyes as well, just a little, little work. Uh, same here as well, just a little dot, a little bit of uh, extra shadow, just to really emphasize on these uh, lids and stuff. So it makes it sound out a bit more, actually, mm. from anything else. It's nice, it's nice. So as you can see, uh, for turn off on, there you go, see. Extra contrast makes things look more, you know, gives it a little oomph. Mm. Yes. Very nice. Very nice uh, little push there, see? Mm, mm, mm. Always, always attempt that. Oh, I see a little insect on my wall. I'm going to try and zap it. Bear with me. Bear with me. Insect is going to zap my me. Catch it first if I can. Oh. There's a. I don't know. I've got it. It's dead. Dead is dead. Yeah, so it's the, it was those uh, annoying bugs that, that bite you, you know, there's like a mosquito kind of things. Yeah, they're very, very uh, annoying, yes. Got a lot of those insect bites on my leg, on my leg, on my spud. See all, see all these little pinpricks, little, little dots on my face? That's all the insect bites, see? It's not good. It's not good. Really, really annoying. Really annoying and itchy as well. They give me the itches. Mm. I've got no arms, I can't itch, scratch myself. See, I can only roll around. I have to deal with it. It's not good. Not good. Blooming insects. Blooming insects. Okay. Back to our bat. Bat, bat, bat. I'm looking at the reference some more. There's some. Some more extra things I can put, add in here to make it more darker. So I've got things like that. Look at that. Yes. Yep. I see uh, people lurking in uh, on the on the Twitch chat. Lurkers, I see uh, Rishari, sneaky Rishari, very sneaky, very sneaky. Hope you're well. Sneaking is fine. You can sneak. I got uh, Dallin, who's on my Discord server. He's playing some DRG. If you ever want to play DRG with anyone, yeah, you know, you can always 
recommend him. Actually, in fact, I should probably recommend. Uh, let me see if there's a brother on there. Ping him. Yeah. Trying to connect people. It's always good. It's always good. Connecting people to games. gone over there okay I might have to clean that up that's fine making this darker find this shape a bit more so I can it looks nice nice little shape streaming on a uh, e live I guess that's that era is now over for me I guess I can't do a multi streaming so I have to rely on uh, the other means you know, other means of uh, involving myself oh oh So I'm wondering if I should not have done, I should keep the shape as is, maybe, because I think I'm going a bit overboard on this. Let me just remove that for a second. Yeah, maybe this is just, should just be a rather abstracty shape that I had before. Like so, hmm, there you go. Copy. Hmm. 
Hmm. <sighs> yes. Delicious. So I will enjoy my Colombian coffee. Colombian good. Goodness. Yes, it's uh, going to be very, very relaxing, as usual. Very relaxing. Mm. No, of course, keep missing people that ping me. They come online when I'm busy and then they leave a message and then they go offline again. Got to leave a message for some of them. Say hello. Leave some messages for them. How do you do? your message but sorry I was away I was busy so this is where I can uh, apply some uh, desaturation So I don't, I've got a few more badges left to do still. Uh, one of them is the, uh, uh, the the blue vine, the blue vine that needs to be done. And then we have uh, the the wolf, yes, the wolf. And then I think from there we got we have a bear to do again. Uh, there's a bear. A while back I did a bear. Um, I might have to repaint that one again, redraw, make a new concept of it. I think the the current one just didn't work out, so I might have to may have to do another one, another, another redrawing of it, and see what I can come up with. So that'll be interesting, be fun to do. But I need some time away, time to do that. So. But then also a flying fox is a next, another one, so I need to think about that one. So it'll be a fox with, you know, uh, with bat ears. So that's be interesting. Red fox with bat ears with uh, a hairdo, you know, like a long sweeping red red dark red hazel kind of hair i think that's the that's what i saw in the reference so um, it'd be interesting to try and uh, make yeah yeah look forward to that yes. I've been bitten by an insect. I have this itch. I keep thinking it's, it's a bite, but it's not. It's uh, just being paranoid. Paranoid of thinking there's insects flying around. Yeah, these are uh, sneaky bugs.
There we go. I'm trying to make this transition to show that it, uh, you know, the fur goes all the way back, you know, like this. You know? Hmm. Yeah, and then uh, do have these. Uh, Clumpy, clumpy, clumpy hair. Hmm. All right. I guess we can start working on the details now. Okay. So we can uh, try and at least do that now. Uh, well, actually, uh, let me see how it looks without the bottom part. See. Yeah. This. So this lower part. I guess this can be added to the detail end. So let's start uh, applying the details on the fur and then work our way up. So we go. We do detail. Detail, neck fur. Neck fur. So all these little things. 100%. Just get a bit of felt extra light on there and just add a bit. Uh, see, a little bit of a. Uh, like so. Rolled. Brokes the hair, very simple, not, not too taxing, not too taxing, see? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh. switch my back. Blink goes the uh, those who think that those is always making plink sounds. Yeah. that window makes less noise when you're not, it's not open. Blink noises. Probably, um, 
turn the streams into like, like comic streams as well. I should probably focus on bringing back the comic book as well. Yeah. There's all these little things I've got to do. I've got to find time for everything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Yeah. Let's get the details in. Let's continue on. Get carried away looking at other things there. So as you can see, just uh, little strokes of detail here and there, just to get the flow, the flow going. See, the flow going. Wrong uh, blacks there, but then just we can. Uh, To add a bit more value there. Let's just let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> How's it, bro? You missed uh, uh, Gallon playing some DRG. He's, he was in chat and then he disappeared. I think he's I think he's only there for playing a few games, but definitely you should uh, connect with him. Yeah, yeah, he plays a uh, plays a few games now and then. Yeah. Just finished playing as well. Oh dear, oh there you go. See, I've not played anything. I've not played any DRG. I'm good. But I might play some tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, you know. Thursday, Thursday is game day. That means rock and stone, rock and stone. I might, you know what? I might do a, I might do an elite deep dive. Tempted. I might just jump in, you know, instead of doing, instead of doing the old uh, boring, boring, repetitive. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, core hunt. Let's let's let's, let's go for the. Go for the bigger thing, which is a elite deep dive. Friggin' four bolt detonators and a cross in one dual dozer mission. Oh wow, now that is more like it. I like that. I like that. But win five has. Oh wow, is it? I don't think I've done that achievement. Oh, that must have been fun. That must have been fun to have a. Uh, to have a uh, five, uh, not five, sorry, four bolt detonators and a, and, a, and a gold detonator as well, along with it. That's just, ooh, sounds uh, saucy, very saucy. I like that. I like, I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. Why can't I get? Why can't I get something like that? Why can't I get that, those kind of missions? Took all the ammo. Yeah. Oh, I, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, see, those are, those are the missions that you can talk about, and um, yeah, it'd be nice to re it'd be nice to keep re recordings of those kind of missions as well. I sometimes when I do, I've done some missions which are really, really good. Right, they're really good, but I'm not. I, it happens when I'm not streaming. You know, it's a bit shame. You know, a bit of a shame. I was like, ah, oh. say to myself, you know what, this this mission would have been so good if I, you know, if I was on stream and saved. Because it was memorable, like close calls as well, close call missions as well. They're, they're good, very close call ones. Hairs in just nice little strands of bat hair, you know, just give a nice little look.
So. You know, every time I've done a has five, I've never received four detonators. I'd like to have a four. I'd like to have a mission with four detonators. That would be very nice. Oh, very nice. Have you been? Have you tried any of the combos yet? I, I, so uh, when was it? I think it was on a Sunday. I think Sunday or Monday. I tried. I tried DRG. This was on. Uh, this was on. Uh, when I was on on Steam, oh, not on Steam, on on, on uh, Discord, sorry, playing and Gallon was there, and I was trying out the flame, the, the what's it called, the flamethrower and the uh, 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 microwave gun, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, the the combo of that is amazing. You need to try the combo of that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. You can instantly, almost instantly, like kill bugs and damage Praetorians you can, you can knock off like instantly 25% of their health if, if you do it correctly and it's, it feels good it feels am in amazing the damage the damage spike is pretty high if you do it right all it requires is quick weapon switching so you know switch between the two weapons the flamethrower and the microwave gun and you can pull off some really cool combos very it's very it's very delicious when it happens very delicious you have to you have you must try it though oh. and trust me once you try you'll be like oh my goodness why what, what, why have I not why have I not been doing this before with the driller oh dear like oh oh Ooh. I'd say definitely do it. Give it a try. Very good build it is. Oh, lost the Carto. Oh, no, the Carto. Yes, yeah. Do 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 try the flamethrower and microwave gun, and 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 look up the uh, combos for it. You, it's what happens is what happens is when you you, you have to flamethrower the the bug, and so they either they overheat or they're set on fire. I think it's when they're set on fire. I think, and then when you switch to microwave gun, you you zap them, and what it does, there's a, there's a special kind of debuff that the bug gets for for a split second. It's like a red icon, and it spikes damage 25% damage instantly on them regardless it's, it's not it's not a drain it's an instant 25% off the health it's pretty devastating and if you if you can any and like if you so if you if you set fire to multiple bugs with this you know and then you switch to microwave gun you can just make them all pop in one shot it's 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 ridiculous it's it, I, I was kind of shocked I'm like how is this possible but it exists and it's and it works yeah, it, uh, it works on uh, it works on on robots as well. I believe. Let me just double check. Um, uh, DRG flame for oh, flame for flame for uh, uh, and microwave. Uh, let me see the icon. Where's the icon that appears? There's a, there's a little red icon that appears when you when you do it. Let me just see. Uh, Uh, combo. I'm trying to find the icon. Uh, icon. Uh, oh. So I'm googling it. See if it pops up. I don't think it does. Hang on. Uh, DRG, DRG temperature, 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 I think it's called temperature shot, I think, temperature shot.
where is that icon? I saw it. Before. I've seen it before. So I was looking at the, on the DRG wiki page. I'm sure I've seen this icon. Oh, there it is. Temperature shock. That's it. That's temperature shock. I mean, there's, there should be a fire one for that. On fire. I think it is that. Hmm. Temperature shock. Let me just Google that. DRG. DRG. Temperature shock. Oh, no, not shopping up. I think I'm shopping then, right? There we go. Let me do that. Hmm. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think yeah, I think it is temperature shock. If you look that up, definitely look it up. Temperature shock. Uh and what that does there you go. And what that does, it, it it does a spike of damage based on even even if the bug is trying to either either the bug is cold from fro you know, frozen or electrified or uh, or heated. But then it's a combination. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But but this one for flamethrower and microwave, that I you, you get that temperature shock icon, but it's red. And when it hit, when it when it happens, they explode. The bug just pop, disintegrates, just disappears. It, it looks hilarious. It's instant disintegration. And if you if you set fire to multiple bugs and then you microwave them, instant disintegration, instant like you have to you have to be really quick at switching around, switching the uh, your, your weapon. But it works. It's very very impressive. I need to I need to play around with it more. I, I was using face melter with. With the microwave gun, the face melter is a great, great build because it instantly, uh, instantly overheats bugs, instantly, instantly overheats robots. So, you, so you got a chance to, uh, you know, microwave them, give them a little tickle, little tickle, heat tickle. So yeah, yeah, give it a try, give it a try. Now I know, Gallum was there. Gallum kept telling me, you know, you got to experiment. You got to try these builds. You got to try these builds. You got to see what these streamers are doing. You know how they're playing right now on DRG to understand. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't care. You know, I don't care. I like prefer, I like playing the way I want to play. You know, I like playing the way I want to play. I don't want to be playing like a streamer. You know, just pro streamers. I don't want pro DRG dwarfs. I'm, I just like doing the way I want to play. You know, so but I tried this, and I'm like, okay, I can see why this is good. See why this is this 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 is impressive, you know. Blowing bugs up instantly, yes. Even though what for? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was has five. Well, yeah, five times in a row. That's that's crazy. That's that's just going beyond beyond. Oh dear, yes. See, see what I do nowadays. Yeah, you, you probably see me if you haven't seen me on the stream doing it. I, I always check what kind of players I'm joining. If they're in the bronze, then I, I'll leave the game because I know there's a good chance. There's a good chance that you know they might not succeed, and usually I'm right. You know, usually they, you know, players are, are, are a bit, they're a bit, they're a bit new. You know, they've, they've just started playing and they're not sure what they're doing. You know. Someone like me, you know, you know, knows what they're doing. You know, you've got to got to keep an eye out on these things, and you have to ask yourself: Do you have time to uh, play missions where you know you're going to fail? You know, I like to. I want to win. I like to win. Spud likes to win. Spud likes to win games. You know, I don't like, don't like losing them. I don't want to lose the game. You know, bad losing is bad. Oh yes, the half tackle. Yes, yes, the ones which say level one hundred or, or kick. Yes, level one hundred or kick. Know your class. Know your class or kick.
Oh, look, see, Gavin on on Discord finally realised that I was tagging you to him. See, I've told him you play has five. You're a pro. You're a pro. Pro Zebra. Better watch us. You better watch out. Tough, tough dwarf. Tough dwarf. Shh. Yeah, he's on. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, he's on. He's on level one thousand. Over one, he's he's gone over level one thousand. Are you over level one thousand? I think you are. Yeah, yeah. You over level one thousand? Level one thousand. Three, two, seven. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you got got some way to go still. <laughs> you got some way to go. Some some got some leveling to do there. If, I think if you did another another six hundred has fives, I think you'll you'll be fine. Yes, nearly nearly another six hundred. Do do six hundred has five missions, and then you'll be. I think you'll be in the level one thousand by now. By then, yeah, yeah. Be pro. Cool. Pro DRG player. Oh, hang on. Oh, nearly maxed out on Driller. Legendary 2. Oh, now look at that. Look at that. I think I'm still... I think all my dwarves are on gold right now. Gold 3 star. 3 star gold. They're on their way up slowly, but uh, surely. They're getting, they're getting good. They're getting good. Oh, one... Oh, wow. So, yeah, you've been... You have been busy. You have been busy. Hmm. Very good. Very good. Hmm. I'll have to catch up. Oh, you're getting, yes, you have. Yes, yes. The com company will be impressed. The company will be pleased. The DRG company, even though even though dwarfs are expendable, dwarfs are expendable. They have, uh... You know what? So so this, you actually missed this nice conversation. I was a nice debate. Don't debate. Actually, no, not a debate, but a conversation about. DRG and its and the rivals, the rivals which we were, you know, you've, we constantly have to fight. So, my, my my argument is, bugs always attack the dwarfs. Why not the rivals? And obviously, you know, I was talking to Galen about this, and Galen said, well, you know, you know, you know maybe because you know they, they attack you, you know, alive, you know, things that are alive. But uh, the thing is, the thing is, the, the rivals are also there to. The rivals are also there to, um, you know, harvest the planet as well. You know, so they're, all, they're you know they've been there for a while. But like, but it, it would make sense if if a turret if a turret fired at a bug, then the bug should be able to fight back. You know, if if, if, it, if it's been hit by something, right? Hmm. That's true. No meat, but but think of it this way. Think of it this way. Escort missions, escort missions. They they attack Doretta, yeah. They attack Doretta. So that means the bugs do attack machines, right? So in this case, the rivals should be attack. You know, should be they should be they should be attacking the rivals as well. And Betsy, yeah, yeah, see, 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 they attack them, but they don't attack the rivals. I think they should. I think it would be, it'd be really good to see like a mission where the bugs and rivals are fighting amongst each other, and you're kind of caught in the middle as well. You know, you're you're being attacked as well. You know, that kind of three way battle. That would be that would be very nice. I think that'd be very impressive to see. You know. Oh yes, I like. I'd like that. Hmm. Yes. Make on no bugs. Instead, it feels like we're 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 against. Everyone's against us. Everyone's against us. Everyone's on us. Constantly attacking us, and uh, yeah, it's very unpleasant. Very unpleasant. Yeah, but that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I think, I think, uh, I think the uh, bugs should also attack, attack, attack everything, all, anyone, that anything that threatens its biome. I think that makes it more interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
lock on this outlet. There we go. Okay. Uh, not sure how well will go the command mode. Play as management. Oh, okay. That'd be pretty cool. Yes. Now that mode would hit this, especially in Battlefield. Yes, it would. Can, can you imagine? Can you imagine if you have a terrible management player? A newbie, a newbie management player. He'll get things wrong and he'll just cause problems and you get angry with them. And yeah, I guess that will definitely require actual people, you know, people that know what they're doing. Pretty much there, good. Oh, actually, I've got that back part there. Should probably do the law. Blurred away. It's gonna be blurred away anyway, so that's fine. Okay, let's. Oh, no stretches. Oh, no, no stretch. When you hit three red legendary, you become a magic. Oh, down there. That, that'll be that'll be really good. Yeah, yeah. But still, I've seen people at three legendary play like wallies. You know, they, they play like wally brains, like silly wally brains. So I, it's a tricky one, isn't it? It's a tricky thing. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess the best way to do it, the best way to, if you were to play management, right, play management, you can play management from the start, right, but you can only play on has two and three, but as you, as you get better, as you, as you get, as you level up, maybe, maybe it's, it's you have to earn the, the has mission modes, if that makes sense, I'm sure, 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 sure the more time you play has two and has three, yeah, you, if you play well, then you get points, and more points mean you know it increases your status. Status means you can do higher missions. Higher missions mean more difficulty, and if you succeed in those, then obviously you can, then you can work your way up to doing more difficult missions. But if you fail, if you fail the mission, and it's in it, then you lose points. Then it takes your difficulty down again. So that'd be good. Like, like kind of like a, it's kind of like a checking. It's checking what you're doing. Yeah, it's checking your progress. Yes. So that would be a good way to, uh, you know, achieve that same kind of uh, feel, you know, that uh, head of mining operations. Yes, yes, yes. No, I like that. I like. I like that idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Hmm. Very refreshing idea. Yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd be very nice as well. Yes, that could work as that could work well in PvP. You know that PvP four versus four. So one person is there one no, on either side. On either side, you have management. So so one one is the management of the dwarfs. The other is the management of the bugs. Then the three players are the the three players are the uh, the uh, dwarfs or the bugs. If that makes sense. That could work. Then obviously the bugs can. You, it's kind of, kind of, it's kind of like Left 4 Dead. You know, if you think about Left 4 Dead, that kind of effect that can be. A...
be chosen in. play some DRG now, thanks to you. Got the itch to play DRG, but uh, I'm thinking tonight I might jump onto VR chat to watch some horror movies, you know, horror movies, just to, before I go to bed. Oh. Also learn some, also learn some um, um, Blender maybe. It's never stated, never seated, never sat stated. Always always want the craving for DRG you know you, you know something like even at lunchtime I, I get the cravings to play some DRG but I'm always like you know focus back on work again sadly otherwise I would have yeah oh I can't do that I can't do that Zebra you have more control you have more control than me I'm like I, for me it's like I'll play it and then I'll go oh one more mission oh one more mission one more mission and then and one more mission just goes on and that's that's what happens that's what happened when I first started playing DRG one more mission that was the that was it I don't know how you can you tackle the cravings, the DRG cravings. I'm like, oh, I can't do it. I'll play the DRG. Oh, you have, you know, you have a day off. Oh, see, oh, perfect thing to do. It's a good, it's a, it's a good thing to do. I mean, sadly, on my bank holiday, I, I you know, I played, I played DRG in the evening, but um, I didn't, I made the mistake of playing Fallout Four, and uh, I don't know why I did that. I, I, just, I, I thought to myself, I should probably try and complete that game, but then I realised that it, you know, with Fallout Four, it doesn't feel like I'm making much progress. I go around killing things and picking up things and putting things in boxes and talking to people and shooting more things there's it feels like i'm not really doing much other than go around shooting things i think yeah same with same with same with uh skyrim i think i need to go back to skyrim as well but um, yeah again finding the time maybe i should maybe i should stream skyrim that means i mean it means I'm, that means i'm playing it that means i'm also trying to complete it as well you know that that'd be a good thing to do right hmm I'll see. I have to tackle people that want to tell me how to play the game, though. That's the problem. That's the. That'll be the only drawback. You know, there's was, always was people that turn up and tell you how to play the game. They're very adamant. They're the pros. They're the pro people. They're pro 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 players that telling you how to play Skyrim or or Fallout. Fallout Four. You should get. You should get this gun. You should. You should go for this build. This build's amazing. This build's amazing. It's a very good build. It's a very good build. Also had that on prey as well. Prey. Folks telling you how to play the game. Telling the spud. Telling the spud how to play the game. And you don't know that Spud is a pro. Spud is a pro. Spud is a pro. He knows what he's doing. That Spud, he knows what he's doing.
วิ่งในมูด้วยอืมอืมอืมอืม I assume you've completed Skyrim, have you, Zebra? Have you completed Skyrim, or uh, or Fallout? I assume you've played Fallout 4. Oh, a long time ago. Yeah, see, I'm not sure what happened to me. I, I was playing it, and then I just stopped. I just, you know, I just thought to take, take, take some time off, and then, you know, you know what happens when you're doing something and you forget, and then you just forget, you know. Completely forget about the game completely, and then when you when you go back to it, you go, what was, what was I doing? What was I doing before? That's how I felt with with Fallout 4 and uh, Skyrim. I kind of same thing. And rather than um, doing the main missions, I end up wandering off doing the little caves. You know, clearing out the caves because the caves have horrible monsters in them. So it's always nice to just go in there and clear it out, clean them up, as you do, as you do. Clean out those caves. Evict those monsters from the caves. Those are uh, undead ghoul things. Sometimes you get vampires as well, from right. You get vampires. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, that was it. Another game I was gonna try and play was uh, I think Witcher Three, but I think you said there's no point. It's just The game's too big. The game is way too big. I think I should just probably stick with just watching a playthrough. I need to maybe set some time aside to that whilst I'm working. Just have it running in the background. You know, watch uh, someone play the, the main story arc of that and get that over and done with. Easy, easy done. You know, that's that's how we, that's how we most people do it these days, don't they? Just Smash it through. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. In that case, I might, I might consider just going through the main story arc, then maybe just do that, and then, and then, uh, yeah, yeah. Just forget about everything else. But yeah, you know, you know me. I like. I'll, I'll get carried away with doing these little side things. They're always fun to do. <laughs> little side quests. Get a bit carried away. You know, picking on those little things. Yes, yeah, so I also made a tweet to Facebook. Seem, can't, can't seem to uh, get my uh, Facebook. Is uh, my uh, Instagram to be linked up to my Facebook page? It's a bit annoying. Because we've invested, we've got copy ending. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh. I hate it when games have those kind of like short endings, especially when games have short endings. When you know the endings are back in the day, back in the day, old games would have really simplistic endings. But uh, I think the reward was completing those games, right? The reward was completing these incredibly difficult games, and you you know you got something, you know, you can boast about it to your friends and say, "Look, I completed this game, even though it's got a terrible, terrible ending." But uh, I think Ghosts and Goblins, Ghosts and Goblins had that. I don't know if you ever heard of that game. You had to complete that game twice, I believe, to get the, the ending. And you have to kill. You have to kill the end. You have to get the ending in a. You have to do it a specific way as well to get the good ending. Otherwise, you have to do it again. I believe it's kind of a weird one, but so uh, yeah, yeah. 
Ghost and Goblins. I don't think of other difficult games that I completed. Well, most of them were on the Amiga. Amiga had some games on there which the endings were just terrible. It, just, it would just be one word, like you know, a few words like "congratulations, you beat you beat the game," something like that. Something really simple. And uh, yes, yeah, very disappointing. But again, game you get you can boast about it to your friends. That back then you can say, "Look, hey, I completed this game. I completed it." Woo! Woo! Yay! Woo and yay! Ah, oh, Dark Souls. Oh, you know something? Dark Souls. I've played that game three times now and I've still not completed it. Uh, do you reckon that should be a game I should try and um, try and uh, play on uh, on on Twitch maybe and try and complete that? Maybe that should be a game I should try and attempt. Might get the hot sweats though. Might get the spud sweats. Hmm. The last time I played it, the last time I played uh, Dark Souls was via I played it via Discord, and I was going for the uh, scythe build, and a scythe is a really good weapon, very very strong. Um, yeah, I was trying to play it differently. Um, I could go for a scythe build only. That could be nice, nice to start off with. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I've not completed it. That's the, that's the only game I've not completed. I've, I've gone, I've played it a few times, but then I'd like just, I just lose touch of it. Uh, yeah, should should probably, I should probably make the effort trying to complete it. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Have to think about that one because I I, I love the repose, you know, the, the blocking and repose stuff. That was, in that game is really nice. You can stab, you know, block, stab, and, and a joypad rumbles. Yeah, and has a nice little rumbly effect. Exactly, yeah, oh yes, oh yes, I used to grind a few areas. Yes, yes, yes. I need to, I need to try and remember where the, where the scythe is now. It's, oh boy. Because, when, cause, yeah, having that weapon kind of was like a, a beautiful thing, but also a terrible thing as well, because it's got a wide attack, but it's not good in narrow areas. That's what I found, I've discovered. In narrow areas is, is a terrible weapon, but in open areas it's pretty nice. You can just pummel enemies, but obviously certain enemies can block it you know then you're in trouble they can they can uh, you know get you back it's not good of course naturally you can if, if i really want to if you really want to be lazy you can just get the great sword right the great sword from the black knights that that sword is like heavy right just you know if you've got some if you've got enough poise with strength you can just topple enemies with it just keep whacking them till they're dead right just keep over overhead attacks boom 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 Pretty much win the game just using that so that's a possibility there hmm. yeah thought about that hmm. voids because that's that that's that plays an important part when it comes to uh uh Pairing heavy weapons, so you can stun, you can topple enemies, or topple enemies' defenses based on your poise. The higher the poise, 
the better the chance of toppling someone's block. You can, st st you know, stagger them, and then you can just do another attack on top of that, and that will just flatten them like a pancake. Flatten them. What time is that? Oh yeah. So one hour twenty three minutes, got about an hour or so of stream time left, that's good. So we get end up with a giant weapons, dragon slayer bow, oh yeah, great chaos, fireball. Yes, so I'm I've not tried the mage stuff yet. See you know, you know a lot a lot of people a lot of, I've seen some people that do the fire build, you know, the fire fiery stuff. Is that any good? Have you tried being a spellcaster? Maybe not I think that I guess that might be a bit too easy, right? You just burn everyone, you just shoot everyone, yeah. Oh yeah, pyromancy, yeah, yeah. You I might, you know what? Maybe I should maybe I should just play my first playthrough on Twitch again uh, and be a pyro and then see what happens. Or oh, poison mist. Okay. Oh, okay. But but is pyromancy? It's excuse me. Is pyromancy good for you know burning through the enemies, bosses? You can just set them on fire. No. I think I think the only place I will probably struggle on is the, is the is that allo um, uh, um that, that those two bosses you fight you know the fat one and the skinny one you have to fight them together that that can be a sneaky 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 boss I forgot I've got a name of the boss well, those two you, you fight both of them at the same time but you have to like kind of beat one or one or the other and then it I think you fight them in a big hole yeah. I've seen a fair few people uh, on a playthrough, or, you know, when I'm watching them play, they they died on that boss, a few, on those two bosses, a few times because obviously it's got to be really quick. Or, you, or well, you got to know what you're doing. But uh, if you've never played it before, then you'll get a little surprise. Hmm. Really enjoyed the lore videos for Dark Souls as well. Oh yeah, yeah, the lore is pretty spooky for that as well. It's really depressingly interesting. You know, it's set in a world which is really dark, isn't it? And then you have like the other side, which is all you know, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know something? I've not even played. I've not even played Dark Souls two, and I've got. I think I've got Dark Souls two on my on my Steam. I've got Dark Souls two. I think I've got Dark Souls three lying around somewhere. Yes, ones are really, really, are really good. I, I assume that's a streamer, right? Or, or a uh, YouTuber? Hmm? All the little details that you missed starts off. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, 
けだ。So, oh, tongue, no light, tongue, light, nice tongue. Nope. Usually, when it makes really get flaws and videos and pokes ideas, like, well, oh, okay, oh, okay. See, I've been I've been watching. I don't know if you're a fan of aliens. If you're, if you're a fan of aliens, I'd recommend a channel called Alien Theory. It's a really good channel, and it covers like uh, various uh, lore of the Aliens franchise and Predator franchise. Also, it also they also um, the person also narrates the comics, some of the comics. So, so like you know, like Batman versus Aliens, or you know, or um, Superman versus Aliens. I think I think there's a, sorry Superman versus Aliens, but there's I think there's one with Batman as well. That was not. Uh, I think it's Dark Horse. I think it definitely was a Dark Horse comic. But it's, it's really interesting. So he narrates them, and you see the pages as well. So, and um, he he's also done he's he's also done the um, uh, uh, like, like a narration of uh, Newt's Tale, which is basically a comic that was done. I think it was done by Dark Horse as well. And what that what that talk that story is about is you see the story from Newt's perspective of so basically the basically before you know the. the it went, yeah, yeah. The, what happened when they, when they, when they, when their parents found the uh, alien ship, and then the whole colony got overrun, and then the the, the uh, marines find her. So you, you get you get to see the whole story of what really happened to that colony before it went down. It's really, really good. Really. Good. Yeah, nice little red there. Mouth. Some of that, that nose as well. Oh yeah, have you seen the Pokemon? Uh, the Pokemon? Uh, Pin Pinocchio trailer. Disney's Pinocchio. Looks pretty good. I mean, we'll have to see how it properly looks when it's finally out. But like the animation style of Pinocchio, they kept it kept it close, you know. Oh, oh, oh! You should see it. I've posted it on. I've posted it in on Discord. Let me see. It's in uh, miscellaneous chat. Uh, if you if you scroll up the miscellaneous chat, it should be yeah, yeah. On the I posted it on the twenty fifth twenty fifth of August. Trailer two. Look good. Just before your, just uh, before your spiders, <laughs> just the spider pictures. The lovely spiders. <laughs> Sneaky spiders. Them spiders. Them spiders are harmless.
Red there. Oh, oh, oh. Photoshop. Don't do that. Don't do that, Photoshop. What a mess for me there. Oh, did it again. See, it's doing a hard stroke. Really weird when it does that. Blends down, I think. Just a bit, a little bit blending down, you know. Yes. Oh, lost the chat again. Lost the the cards in the chat. Keep forgetting to uh, windows positioned in the way. Oh, there we go. Yes. This bat little bat chap is looking pretty dapper. He's looking pretty dapper. I like I like this bat. Looking looking pretty dappy. Dappy chappy. Oh, I forgot. Just got to do the hair. Still got to do the hair. Been doing the face. I'm not realising I've got to do the hair. Oh dear. Yeah, uh, yeah, watch that trailer. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, yeah. That trailer. Oh, you know something? Okay, yeah, sleep well, man. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it's been it's been a grand, it's been grand, it's been it's been very good. Spudgulistic, a spudgulistic hangout. Yes, sleep well. Rocking, rocking, rocking stone, spud and stone, spud and stone. Spud and stone to the bone. Okay. Making some nice progress on this uh, batch. Yes.
Oh, it's asking. I think the I think the older video is stopped again. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Resume. So if I get this done, that means I've got three badges completed. It's a few more to do, a few more left to do, and then, then we're, we're done. I think we're done with the most of the, ba the badges of, of from the convention. These are these are convention ones. So uh, yeah, it's very good. It's very good progress. Very good. All these are done. I have a feeling there's a few more that few more people that we want badges off me because I know I always get asked. So. I might, I might take some more, maybe, maybe. See how I'm feeling. Let's double check something. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's fine. It's still fine. It's still good. It's all good. It's all good. I was just checking um, that my, my Patreon is in good in goodness when I, I posted some art on there recently. Just making sure it's gone through, yeah. Well, I uh, didn't click submit, and I did click submit, so that's good. Happened before where I posted posted something and I didn't click on submit, and then I'm like, oh yeah, not good, not good. tabs of DRG open, I shouldn't close them. They've been very addictive to look at. The temptation of DRG is always there. You, know, you want to play it, you want to play it. Oh, don't want to play it. Can't play it not now. Got to get this, this badge done. Priorities, spud priorities. Right, let's focus on the hair. 
I think after that, I think we're done. We're pretty much done with this, uh, this bat. Sneaky bat. that brown and that reddish value in here as well just to sheen on this Save, don't forget to hit save. Saving good. If you don't save, you're in trouble. End up losing your work. If you're not careful. Mm -mm -mm. A lot of bots in my room tonight. No, I've got Alec. Alex, Alexi Dryer, Alexis, the Nexus. These are, these are bots. I think these are all bots. Got 42F something something. Oh, these are all numbers. Number, number name there. Sophia Fox 21. Definitely. I think definitely she's a bot. Soapy Carl. Yeah, definitely a bot. A farming girl. There's a sheep. <clears throat> There's a sheep on the server. Oh. Lizzie Beth, I've seen her before, she's always here. Commander Root. Commander Root's always here. And then another viewer. Another viewer, TTV viewer. These are all, uh, oh, oh yeah, hey, and of course, we cannot forget alien conglomeration. Martians, you've got to go, and, oh, no, oh, an alien gathering as well. Alien gathering, because you've got little aliens, there's all little Martians. Yep, got a little Martian invasion. They turn it up. Up to Martian things, there, that's what happens to them. You have Martians in it. Sneaky Martians. Sneaky, sneaky Martians coming in there. Martian things. Rather nice there. Glow back in there we go, get some glow. Ooh. 
Yes, this back looks looking very promising now. Very promising. Zoom out a bit. Get a good view on it. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. We've got before and after there, but see, before and after. Oh, got a little hair, hair layer. Yeah. Very good. Now, oh, let's look at this uh, upper part here. It's glow. This glow will probably be. sense of a uh, knockback there yeah, just to give it a little uh, sheen but not too much there we go. again this will be uh, pushed back I guess this will be pushed back onto the the blur tool yes smudge tool you call it smudge blur whatever you want to do to it that one out with the older mask tool here. There we go. Oh, might be in the render, I think. Yeah. Get rid of that uh, imperfection of blue on that. Uh, there we go. Let's get that out. Again, just to add a bit more shadows on these darker patches. See, so dark, dark patches here. So, see, a bit more. It's looking very promising now. Hmm. So, work on that eye as well a bit. Just, uh, 
mine it's a bit more triangular so yeah maybe that's what I had was fine I think maybe other thinking it but what it could have is an edge so yeah yeah very nice, very nice. Reflection there, still a little bit of blue on that, just a little bit of blue. Black. Bit of reflection on either side there. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, there. Just want to give a bit more, a bit more uh, root there. Just a little bit of liquor. So. And under the hair, it would be nice to do some uh, shadows, just a little. There we go. Oh. So, yes. detail just to make it little pop a bit and I think we're there oh hmm yeah very nice all right so the ears I think uh, I did a, a bit of fur on that yeah maybe do the bats have furry ears do they have a bit of fur on their ears let's see them Hmm, they look a bit rather flat, but that's, I guess we can get away with that. We can get away with, uh, yeah, with that. Ooh. Ooh, it blows a bit too, uh, Like a two of his blue, let's say, yeah, 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 very nice, very nice, that very nice. That. Very nice that. Hmm. 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 Now, uh, let's see, now we need to work on the just on the this bottom bit here. I think we're done. So, how is it? Time is uh, 1 hour 57, so that's good. We might be able to get this done in within the stream time, which is good. I like that, I like that a lot. Yes. I'm going to turn on the filter here. We've got to have that. Uh, there we go. See the. mask turn on the mask even and I'm going to try and apply the uh, Thank you. 
actually the lower part would not be needed but uh, I like doing these just to make sure that uh, you know it's relevant to the character that's there Oop. fluffing that fuzz there you have it I think we're done I'm just going to hide the line work on these uh, so the hidden line there Oop. yep that can go Oop. and this that can go as well see that can go as well yeah Yeah, I think this bat is done. I like it. Not too keen about this kind of this kind of V shape going on. Let's just clean that up a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm not satisfied by that. Let me see. Let's have a look at this. Uh, yeah. Actually, it should be fine, I think. That'll be fine. Yeah. Clean it up a bit. Let me clean that neck, that part up. It's, in fact, that, this is going to be blurred out anyway, so I'm not sure why. It shouldn't be too... Looks like I might just... Uh, add a bit more. There, there we go. That's much better. This area is going to be blurred out anyway, so that's fine. But no, blur it out. We'll blur it out. Blur the bugger out. Blur the bugger out. Oh, there we go. Let's go right here. Missing a timestamp. Missing a timestamp. Let me turn on timestamps. Uh, show actions. Show more actions. Yeah, it's not showing me the timestamp. First chat. I thought. Do it. just brief. Pause chat. Only scroll. Pop up chat. Hmm. I thought there's a way you can. No timestamps. Oh, you could Hold on. manage moderation settings, clear chat, view, switch to non, non mod settings. Oh, okay, non mod settings. Uh, chat appearance. I'm stuck in new messages. Uh, expanded. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Time stamps. Oh, there you go. I see it now. I see it now. Very good. See, now I can see the time messages when they appeared. Yeah, before they weren't appearing. Hmm. Hmm. Right, so before we continue on here, we need to uh, clean up a few things. There's a few deformities appearing here. I think that's, unless that's part of the 
Yeah, that's probably yeah, there you go. Let's clean this up. Yeah. Let's clean up these little things. Oh, this is the clear out. I think there's a light any more line pieces. Nope, that's the eyes. It's on the base, okay. Yeah. Hmm, the base is okay. Let's, uh... Look on the render. It might be a render thing, I think. Uh, neck. Yeah. Hold the face, maybe. No. Hang on. Wait a minute. Detail. Neck, maybe. No. Face. Oh, where's that from? There's a little thing here poking out. Surrender. Ah, must be on this. There you go. Is it on this one? Ah, here's there we go. This sneaky bit. There we go. A lot of little artifacts there. I'm just going to clean up here. Just going to make sure it looks pretty. And then what I do then is when I'm happy, I'm going to start to. Uh, Flatten it down and then apply the filter, magic filter, that is the retro filter, retro filter, retro filter, okay, right, so uh, there is that this line, thin line here, I'm not trying to find out where that's from, I've got a feeling that's to do with, yeah, Right, yes. Let's see if we can try and uh, dupe this out now. So close that, close that, close that, close that. I'm going to duplicate this duplicate. I'm going to close that one. I'm going to merge this group down. There we go. We'll merge it down. Very nice. Very nice. So we can now start to uh, apply some distance pressure, especially on this, this part here. Too. This part here will be uh, blurred out a bit, except for the air, this part here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me get the blur tool again. There we go. in here, just a little bit of blow in here, just a, there we go. Lastly, we make another one, we have a copy of this again, and then we add our left retro e filter, retro filter, image, adjustments, like that. Something like maybe. Soft light can do it or normal. I think normal. I think normal has that kind of effect. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. I'm going to wash it down a bit, but we can then uh, apply uh, extra goodness to this, which is. Which is. Uh, uh, where is the hard glow? Where's our brush? There we go. Brush there, and maybe a soft round. And soft. Oh, oh, oh! I'll oh, claim all these buttons there. Claim all these buttons. Let's maybe add a bit of. Oh. Does that won't work? Err. Uh.
fact, I don't think it needs, think it needs to be touched. We got that. Cool. Okay. Bat is done. The bat is done. I might turn off the filter for this. I might turn it to soft. Soft light might be do the trick as well, but so we'll see. Yeah, soft light has a nice feel to it as well. But the normal thing, that wash, does add a bit of niceness to it. Yes. Cool. I think, oh, I think it needs a bit more of that glow. I think the glow is what's been pushed away here, so I'm not minded to add that back in. Maybe with, with the DG brush, DG brush, DG brush. There we go. Hmm. Yeah. Wicked, wicked. Okay, let me. Uh... Okay, right there. Oh, uh, let's let the recording run for a bit. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. There you go. See, I think that's uh, striker, striker. That's a striker bat. Four. Four. Striker bat four. All the uh, current build here, yeah, it's all good. Oh, boop, 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 What I may do, I may not include the uh, retro filter effect being applied, keep it secret. Here goes hiccups, oh, potential hiccups. Right, so this one's done. Mission completed. I'm just going to send this to the customer. I've noticed something. Hang on. Uh, oh, that's right. No, that's fine. I thought. 
this again. Oh, let me, let me zoom in again. Oh, that line there. No, oh, I think that's fine. I think I'm going to go overthinking it. Yeah. to the customer I think that's the one. Yeah, there we go. This bad boy. So, not this one, but option two, I believe. Where's option two? Option two, there we go. So this is the one I was... Uh, look at the notes again. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, let's just redo the neck again on this, uh, like that. Skimming through the notes there. There we go. Yeah, let's, let's try, let's try find some form of reference on the neck of this particular wolf hole. How long got left? We got got time. Oh, we got oh damn! We got about oh man! Goodness, 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 goodness! Not time, not enough time left. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, neck portrait. Portrait. Neck. Take that line. So this neckline may not work. So let's scroll down. Oh, that's the one. Let's make a new one. What are the brush I was going to use? I think where it's gone now. Square on a square brush. Uh, show time, no. DG under. Will it be on DG under? No. It's a bit too weak. Show time. Main. Oh, I've lost it now. Underpaint. No, it can't be an underpaint because it's too big. Yeah, it was a nice brush I had. It was really nice. Custom Zod chalk brush. That's just too chalky. No, this is. Just, this is. Let's just focus on getting it with DG main and get this. Sorted. Turn off there. There we go.
Now I'm going to find out what an alternative version of this. Uh, hmm. Okay, that in. Solo window, so many windows open. It's like unbelievable, unbelievable. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to look for some nice neck references for this particular piece. Maybe I can salvage it. Turn, turn what's potentially to it, maybe. Entering all possibilities here. Potentially work, but then again, you can't be able to see his uh, uh, neck thing, neck fluff, neck fluff. have that kind of haunch, haunchy haunch thing going on. Quite a nice one, but that, I guess that kind of similar to what I've done already in the first first one. So, uh, hmm, think about this. For about a few minutes to go, we should probably just call it time, I guess. If I'm trying to this this is this is something that I'll need some some thinking power. My brain needs to think about this. I think. Uh, oh no 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 no! Just, just grace again. about the silhouette you see. 
the horns as well. The horns are the is where the problem is. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What if I did it the other way? Let's see. What if I did it? So it's uh So I can move this. Oh, is it all? Yeah, I can move this a little bit, just a little bit, a wee bit. Uh, oh, just a Something like that, maybe, perhaps. Your yeah, idea from the angle. Yeah, maybe this could potentially work. I'm not sure. Yes, here's my data login to come to my ideas. Right, I think I should probably wrap it up here. We've reached 2 hours and 30 mark here, but so on a plus, we finished the bat. We finished the little bat, the bat character. Very, I'm very impressed with that. Happy with that. There you go. Yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. Oh, very nice, oh, very pretty. And very warm and cozy as well. Very nice, very nice. Right, I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm gonna switch back to my human shelf. I'll say to my say to, uh, I'll, uh, see you guys uh, tomorrow on my, on my spud shelf for DRG. But uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with the spud. Back to the back to Zod. There you go. Ooh. Oh, there goes a spud.
yeah, he'll be back tomorrow with a possible uh, DRG in. So, uh, yeah, it's been a lovely session as always. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed watching the bat being made and the conversations that were had. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with some gaming. It'll probably be some DRG, no doubt. So, yeah, I'm going to jump back on Discord for a bit. I might, I might work on that wolf some more. Um, I'm also going to be on VR chat. Just going to be watching maybe a horror film or two. So if you, you know, if you're on, if you are, want to watch, hang out and watch with me and what film, you know, whatever film it is, you may do so. You know, just go jump on my Discord and just give me a poke, and I'll probably give you the details and you can join it. So yeah, I'm done for tonight. And as always, keep watching the skies, keep watching the skies, and I'll see you people tomorrow for more gaming, for more gamings. Got some lovely DRG. Mm. I think I think it's gonna be have to be maybe a deep dive. If not a deep dive, I have to see how I'm feeling. I have to see how I'm feeling. Deep dive or uh, or just a regular core hunt. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Bye. Ooh.